good morning friends it's the next day or it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living I just sent Misha and Mays off on the bus it's Friday oh I love Fridays I love when it turns into the weekend anyways they just left but the Randalls there's a whole murder of crows down there and the whole party of blue jays are around here and I hear Woody or Penny one of them pecking the woodpeckers so I'm gonna go get their food well I just came in to open the curtains there's six crows out there and one more stay there were blue jays there when I was walking back into the house so I'm sure they're around there too they're getting their breakfast so I just came out to wake up the big kids there's two more stays and what are your pennies at the woodpecker or at the suet cage yeah okay now there's three girls and two boys and one of the Randall's just flew away, but three, uh, like more stay in the time, two, yeah, three girls and two boys, pheasants. All right, now the crows, I can hear them out there, but there's a bunch of those little blackbirds, I forget what they're called, they're under the suet cage, oh, there's Randall, you know the ones that you see on a telephone pole, there's a whole bunch all lined up, that's what those are, only it's not a hundred, it's, you know. Maybe 15, 20. Maybe. All right, now there's three boys. Three more stays. And the girls are over by the tree. I just wonder how many pheasants are around my house. Oh, okay, guys. I was upstairs editing a video. We're just coming out to catch the bus now. The girls give me just about a heart attack, leaving it to the last second to get out here. But when I came down this morning, I forgot, forgot to tell you, Mally had come down in the middle of the night and made chocolate brownies. I'll show you when I go in. My husband made more hamburger soup, which the pot is still warm, and cabbage and sausage. So we got a house full of cooked food already. All right, here comes the bus. Timothy's right up there seeing him off. He is right up there. He's upside down. Okay, I love you. Have a good day. Ooh, love you. Have a good day. Boris has a sock in his mouth. A frozen sock that they play with out here. I just put wood in the fire a little while ago. The smoke's coming out, baby. Oh, and there's Timothy. Oh, he's inside the crack of the tree. He's in the crack. All right, I gotta wipe my table off from breakfast, but there's the brownies. Not much left. And over here, I'm gonna put it away. Yeah, this is still warm. Hamburger soup. And cabbage and sausage. Yowza. Oh, I just fed those guys breakfast. Um, now there's a whole bunch of those little blackbirds out there. Okay, it's 9.42. I edited two videos. So now I'm going to... I didn't even clean off the table or anything yet. I'm going to do that now. Okay, I wiped the counters and the stove off. Swept the floor except for in front of the fire because Boris is laying there. But I'll do that after. And, yeah. That's good. I'm not so sure what I'm going to do for supper. Like, I don't really have to do anything, really. There is hot dogs in the fridge. I might do up hot dogs if nobody wants hamburger soup or cabbage and sausage. There's no sense in cooking a whole bunch of stuff when there's stuff already to be eaten. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, I don't really need to dirty up the stove or anything. I think that's what I'll do. I'm gonna see if there's any straggles to do a uh, load of laundry, but yeah. All right, so I know I got some stuff to do out here. The toy was demolished and there's laundry to fold. What's it like out here? Maze's clothes from yesterday. Blanket that needs to be folded up, but not too bad.
shower. But I have my sister's pajamas on. Not really, but she has the exact same pair. That's why I call them my sister's pajamas. But it's raining out, kind of. So I'm going to put you guys away. But my husband's just walking up the road. <sighs> I didn't think I'd be out in time to wait for the bus, but I am. So that's awesome. All right, we're listening to Stone Temple Pilots on my husband's phone. And the kids just got here. They both have their school sweater on. It was pea, two peas in a pod, like dress as somebody. Hayes doesn't have his jacket on. He made another snowflake. He makes those. How was school? That's good. There's a helicopter somewhere. I can't see it because of the clouds. You made a snowflake. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Watch out. Watch out. All right. I didn't have to make hot dogs because both Misha and Mays wanted cabbage and sausage. Mally wasn't. No, the vinegar's out there. You can bring it out and ask Dad to help you. No, bring your plate out and do it. He's going to put apple cider vinegar on it. I put hot sauce when I eat it, but these guys like apple cider vinegar. To each their own, but Mally didn't want anything when she got home. Neither did Mazaya right now, but there's stuff to eat. They won't eat hot dogs. They'll eat them if we're out camping or, you know, I have other things to go along with it. But um, they can eat hamburger soup or cabbage and sausage. Mazaya requested cabbage rolls the other day. I think I might have some down in the deep freezer. I'm going to check because I could just bring out a couple, like I have them in individual. Forest, Forest get going! individual things like two rolls a thing she could have that i'm not worried about it Ooh. well good morning friends it's tracy and boris from nova scotia living violet's out there still finishing her breakfast she might be out in a minute anyways it's saturday morning i still got carrie's jammies on um but i was up god it's about 8 20 after 8 or something i got up around 7 30 went for about a half hour walk, not that far. And then came back and fed all my friends outside. Shoveled some poop outside because I'm a professional at shoveling shit in the yard now that the snow's melting. But our yard is, or our driveway is all ice and water. But it's supposed to, right now it's like minus two or plus two, something like that. But it's going to go down to minus 13. So all of that ice that's there, all the water that's sitting on top of it is going to, our, our driveway is going to be essentially a rink. Like, it's it's going to be bad. But the roads are clear and everything. Maze has hockey this morning. I'll wake them up shortly. But I heated up a Tim Hortons coffee my husband got me yesterday. I just cut my husband's hair, too. He's going to a meeting. I would go, but Maze has hockey. It's a community meeting. But, anyways, I just buzzed all his hair off. It's easy to cut his hair because he just gets it all shaved off. He's listening to music in the bathroom singing sometimes about to have a shower so anyways I'm gonna have my coffee and we're gonna end up going to town because Mace is hockey and stuff Misha's gymnastics is all done I don't know if you can hear him or not I don't know what he's listening to yeah I don't know anyways I don't plan on going shopping, shopping, but we might stop to a store. I don't know. That's all up in the air right now.
parked way the heck up here. Oh, one of my gloves fell. Can you put it in the car, in the truck? Not a big deal. Okay, well. You got some cream right on the tip of your nose. Oh. Here, let me see. I don't want you going in there with cream on your nose. They'll think that you... Or just wipe your nose. I just put some cream on his face. I forgot to do it at the house. I messaged Dad to let him know there's hockey today. If he's out and about, he could pop over. And by Dad, I mean Papa. Dad has a meeting to go to. Oh, there isn't. Maybe it'll start up. There's no canteen. But maybe. Where did you put your five dollar bill? I forgot it in the truck. Yeah, in the truck. Where? Sitting on the seat. Great. Okay, room two or three. All right, there he goes. We're gonna go this way because it looks crowded up there. All right, we're a little bit early, so that's good. He's not gonna miss any time. I think they're just waiting for the other kids to get off the ice. I think I'm gonna go to the John Mish before we sit down. Okay. All right, they've been doing a whole bunch of different exercises. There's lots of players coming in, like older players. There must be some sort of game or practice after. Some of them are all dressed up in suits or track suits. Some have ties, some don't, but it must be a day of hockey. The canteen's not open though, but I bet you it's gonna open after. Oh, Papa just got here. Look at how that guy has his hat on. Looks like a mushroom cap, which is fine. I'm not making fun. There's Papa, he's looking for me. Oh, he's over there in that group over there. Here he comes. Oops. Oh yeah, I see me now. Right there. Oh, they must be going to get water. Dad watching Maze's hockey. Here he comes. <laughs> Are you going to slide down the banister? <laughs> yeah, not today. Another day. <laughs> He's just blowing bubbles. I know. She put half a roll of that. <laughs> Half a roll of that bubble tape. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't want to park down in between. That way I can just drive right out. Oh, it's starting to get cooler now. It's supposed to go down to like minus 13 today. Our driveway is going to be all ice because it's all ice and water now. So we'll throw some salt beside our door, anyways. Feel the difference in the air. Yeah, well, even just from this morning. Nope. Maze has my wrap on. He looks like the Grim Reaper. <sighs> All right, give Papa. I'll have to give Papa a hug. I need to put this hockey bag in the truck. Maze got off the ice about five minutes early because he had a bit of a cramp. Guys, it's 11:23. I just got home with the kids. We did stop to the dollar store. I have a little haul, but I'm gonna do the Papa haul first because they're all itching to get into this. While I was gone, Mally made broccoli and cheese pasta dish, which will be for supper. I might do up a package of drumsticks just because I got some in the fridge to go along with it. Just do it in the oven. And yeah, it smells amazing. It's like broccoli and cheese soup only with pasta. Is it? Less soupy. Is it linguine noodles? Fettuccine. Fettuccine noodles? Nice. Anyways, this is from Papa. Some barbecue chips. Yes, Boris. He know, he's right here. He knows he gets a treat from Papa. 
some butterscotch candies. Violet's right here. Boris is right there. Oh, he must have been baking. Papa's homemade chocolate Newfoundland cakes. One of you guys from Newfoundland? I think you, you might be. I am going to go there someday. I really, really, really want to go there someday. Anyways, nice little chocolate cupcakes with pink and chocolate icing. I could eat that whole thing myself. Uh, chocolate sticks. An emergency cake. He's good at that, isn't he? Uh, milky roll, Swiss rolls. Oh, I got something from somebody. From New, New Brunswick. I'll open this after. I'm not going to open it right now. Some York peppermint patties. Some Bon Bon Booms. They're little lollipops with gum in the middle. Some fruit candy. Candies. Some watermelon sliced gummies. Some chocolate loonies. Oh, some sour straps too. Some sour peach rings. And a couple of chocolate bars. One would be for Mally, one for Zaya. I know, I'm saving those for last. They have hazelnut paste in it, so the other ones can't. He did send out four pops. Uh... A Dr. Pepper. Two Dr. Peppers. Oh, two Dr. Peppers. And then a Diet Pepsi and a regular Pepsi. Who got the other one? Stinky. Oh. Uh, cool. And then she got two, the not deformed one. Oh. Two of these little treats. This is what he gives. They're rawhide. Like, I don't generally do the, like, get these. They get them once a week, right? This is what they're waiting for. Eat. There. Get going. All right, I'm going to let the kids have all, well, whatever they want out of this. I'll pack away the rest of it, and then I'll do the Dollarama haul. All right, guys, Misha's here cutting up pickles because she's having three hot dogs for lunch. That noodle stuff is for supper. Ugh. So the dollar store had some burned food today. They didn't have any the other day when I was there. I got four of these little bags of the mixed bird feed, wild bird seed. Um, I got a thing of stevia for my coffee. It's a dollar twenty-five or a dollar fifty. I got some can canned dog food just to. I'm gonna get two or three or four cans every time I go to the dollar store because I don't want to be out. There's that fourth one. And then this isn't a big haul. I got two bags of the black sunflower seeds that were there. These were like $4 or something. So two of those little bags are equivalent to one of these, I like to think. I don't know. Maybe it's not, but I think it is. I don't know. One kg. This is 1.3 kg. So maybe not quite. I'm going, I have the bucket right here by my knees. Are you pouring it on the ground? No, I'm pouring it in the bucket. I'm just gonna do this now, so I will be good for bird seed for another week, week and a half. This bucket wasn't empty. I put four bags of nuts in here the other day, and there was still some bird seed at the bottom. But I need to be strategic. that 1.3 yeah but I don't know if you can buy I gotta check pricing next time I go because if they have little bags of sunflower seeds I'd rather get two 
little bags of sunflower seeds than one of these big bags that are 450 because I'd get a little bit more in two little ones. I didn't realize that. Anyways, whatever. What do you think, Violet? It's like doing your dog food, only it's for the friends outside. She's here sneaking the top of the bucket. I know you didn't finish your treat. Boris is probably out there finishing it up. So it's not quite to the top, but it's almost. You know what? I should try to mix this up. Be careful. I know. That's not going to work. That's all right. It's in there. I'll sort it out tomorrow when I feed them. I'll reach down and do it with my arm. It's fine. Huh? Is it? Peanuts might be hard to dig up. Oh, it is working, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's good enough. That's my ability to be athletic today. Yeah. Here is Mally's creation. It smells so good. I'm going to put it in one of these containers. Gonna love it. It's orange on the side. And then one of these containers. So I can get this posh, posh washed. This pot wash, the dishwasher is going now, but um, then I can put, these are oven safe dishes. I can put in the oven after. It's only 11.46. I will do up a thing of drumsticks or two. And we can have this, this noodle dish. And I don't know. That's pretty good to me. Nope. There. All right, this is the drumsticks. I do have chicken thighs in there too, but we had chicken thighs the other day. I know it's the same meat, but you know, we'll do drumsticks. Um, I have a pan here. It, we paid four twelve, which is fantastic. It was four thirty nine a kg. Um, it's due the twenty eighth. Today is only, I don't know, whatever it is, the Saturday before the twenty eighth or Sunday. No, Saturday. This one was 428. So I'm gonna get them on there. I'm just using Montreal chicken spice. We'll do that up. And then I'm gonna put these away now. I just wanted to make sure that they were cooled down. Perfect. All homemade from scratch. Shredded cheese and all that. Alright, I did front and back Clubhouse Montreal chicken just simplifies things fire's going nice now too guys I boiled the kettle I warmed up the teapot with hot water in it before and then I dumped it out and then filled it up with fresh water and a couple tea bags I have just a little splash of milk in here because I want to feel fancy today this tartan I forget I should have looked at the bottom of this Royal Albert I don't know. I'll have to look after. If I think of it, I'll put it down below in subtitles. But there's a tartan on the back. And it's so fan fancy and dainty and stuff. I should have put you closer. But this is teapot was my mom's. It's just a regular teapot. It's not super fancy. It was just up in her cupboard there at Dad's house. She'd use it occasionally. I like it. It reminds me of my mom. Her favorite color was blue, too. And for a regular cup of tea... I want to do that. But if I'm opening a piece of mail, I want to use one of my girls instead of a big old mug of tea. I want to make it with a fancy teacup because my girls like to come out and dance too, right? I put those drumsticks in. It's only early. It's only like 1.30, but this way they get done. 
it's fine. The other stuff is done. And today is an easy day for me. We were busy this morning, but they can eat whenever they want to eat. It's not a designated thing. So I'm going to have to lean up over here. I never thought of that. Usually it'd be closer, but I wanted you to be able to see everything. Let's see. Now look at this one. This doesn't really remind me of winter. It reminds me of Easter, like spring, because of all the beautiful colors that are in it. It's like a whole scenery. Isn't that beautiful? And you can see that there's gold down here. There's gold on her elbow. This is all fuzzy just because I was doing stuff, but I don't care. And then there's gold on that side. And then there's gold down here around her slipper, double lines. Do you see the double lines? And then there's gold up at the top, but you see inside the cup, the pretty flowers all the way around. So it'll hit you in the face anytime you take a sip, no matter how you hold the cup. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning. And then here is the plate, the saucer. It's hard to see, kind of, but there's a lot of detail in this and the colors are just really warming. And um, I just, I just love her. I just love her. She's the type that wouldn't leave the house without some eyeshadow on. And, but it'd be subtle. But she needs to put her face on before she leaves the house, this lady right here. And there's gold around her edge, and you can see the scalloped kind of bumps around the edges. Yeah, beautiful, just beautiful. All right, where is she from? I know I've had her out before for a teacup. I might have to turn the big light on because I can't see a dang thing. Let's see. No, I had it right the first time. Royal Albert Bone China. It is so tiny. Something England. I'm going to have to zoom in with my thing. I might start needing friggin' ring glasses. Usually I can see. I'm going to go up by the window. Kenneth, maybe? Kiddish? Rockery? Registration number 816998, England. It is super tiny. Like super tiny. Super. Anyways. This is just King Cole tea. Um, regular, regular tea, not herbal tea. Look at that. Beautiful. And then I just have a little milk. I didn't put very much. I need to tell my husband. He's gone to a meeting still. He's not back yet, but he'll have to stop and get some milk because we're just about out. And I'm using a tablespoon because I'm a heathen. There. It's good. I don't take sweetener or sugar or anything in my tea. I like it just with a bit of cream or milk or whatever. Yeah. It's very hot, but it's very good. That's just what I needed. Sitting by the fire, supper's cooking. The kids are occupied. I'm just gonna open some mail from my friend. I won't show the, it has the address, but it doesn't have the name. So I'm not sure who this is from, but it is a New Brunswick uh, address. So here in Canada, here in the Maritimes. Um, my friend Miranda and my friend Tamara live in New Brunswick. Let's see. Oh, it's a bit puffy. Look. 
It's like, oh, I should have used that teapot. Maze got me because it has like hummingbirds. These are hummingbirds. That's beautiful. 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 Absolutely. And the blue around it is shiny. I'm trying to make it shine. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, there's a nice letter in here. I love letters. Maybe it's a love letter, but it's a friend letter. I will read this after. I won't read it on camera. But. Oh. Yes, February 2024. So it was this month. Two. Three. Thank you. Handwritten. I am a lazy bones. If I was to write letters, I print them off. It's terrible, but I just... My hand cramps up. It really does. Um, it's like a diary because there's um, started in January, like January 24th, February 13th, February 18th from Vicky. Oh, it's from my friend Vicky. I've heard from Vicky before. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you so much. All right, I gotta read what the card says. Uh, th well, it doesn't have anything printed in here, like of the actual card. Her little note says, before you know it, spring will be here and the flowers will be blooming. This is the time for re re flowering and re focusing, refocusing and appreciating the little things in life. Wishing you a, seasons of, a season of renewal. Love your friend, Vicki. Thank you, Vicki, so much. You know, when I was in the Dollarama today... I was looking at planters. I know I've tried this over the years. Try to plant things and grow, start things. Makes me want to try it again. I need to, some of the, my green friends around here, I need to um, repot them because they're in little tiny ones and they're ready to move to bigger pots, not exceedingly bigger pots, but um, there's different plants in the little teeny tiny pots that I have here to put them in. The next size up and this stuff at the dollar room I know it's not the greatest but you could buy a little cardboard plotter plotter or potter plant holders and different things I'm just like I'm not doing that today but that might be a project I do next month maybe I'd like to but I don't want to if I can't commit to it mentally and physically commit to it you know I envision sometime in the future that we'll have like a nice big garden. We used to have a nice big garden when we lived in the other house. Now we have those three garden box. We didn't do anything last year or the year before, I don't think. But even then, it's more of a hobby garden. It's not like a storage for the winter garden. It's more of go eat some beans if you're hungry kind of thing. Peas, lettuce for salads. And I mean, that's all well and good, but I'd like to have, like my mother-in-law has a fantastic garden. I know it's a lot of work. But she gets her vegetables for the whole winter. For the whole winter. She doesn't have to buy vegetables. Unless occasionally for something. I'm just like, I would love that. Especially with how things are costing these days. But I don't know why I got on that tangent. Why did I start talking about that? My mind is muddled. It really is. Anyways. I'm going to, what am I going to do? That chicken is in the oven now. The fire's going. I'm going to finish this pot of tea. I'll ask, ask Misha if she wants any because she likes herself some tea. She will put a little sugar in hers. But thank you so much, Vicky. And for the future, I might end up doing some planting stuff. But what I do have to do for sure is repotting some of the plants that I have in little planters in bigger planters so they can grow even bigger. We'll see. I need to do some research research because I am certainly not a green thumb. But yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do probably next month. I do have a big bag of potting soil out in the porch. I'd have to bring it in so it gets nice and, you know, room temperature or whatever. And I do have some pots. I just need to sit down and actually do it. 
For now, I just water whenever I'm supposed to water and all that stuff. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Thanks again, Vicki. I will read your letter after I shut you guys off because I want to read it now. I really, really, really appreciate it. And this will go up with my other cards that I have out there in the TV room. So I'll be back, Jack. All right, the chicken's been done for a while. I just warmed it up again in that oven. And I put these just on this cookie sheet and warmed it up too. So it's just going to be a straight up chicken. And Boris, he just nudged me with his nose. He wants his supper too. Oh, all right, guys, it is after supper. My husband just got home. He went to the grocery store. He put a package of steak in the fridge and a container of ice cream in the deep freezer but hot dog buns because we got hot dogs in the fridge a jug of milk because we were out two packs of drumsticks i'm gonna put these right in the freezer because i just cooked two packs today i got three packs of chicken thighs in the fridge i'm gonna put some of that in the freezer he's just getting it while it's on sale so this pack was 453 and this pack was $4.49. It was $4.39 a kg. So that's pretty darn good. A thing of Italian sausage. And three things of beef broth. I also put a bag of frozen chicken wings down in the deep freezer. It was like a big bag full. I think him and his brothers bought a big like a giant thing of chicken wings or something from a store down down the way and it was a good sale um and they divided it or I don't know what it is but it's a giant bag a vacuum sealed a few different bags of chicken wings so they're down in the deep freezer so anyways I'm gonna put this stuff away and that's good I'm not complaining we got some food but I'm gonna put some of the chicken in the deep freezer right now um just because I don't want to cook chicken every single day if I don't have to. It'll be more likely than not that I will, but we won't have chicken wings tomorrow, or chicken drumsticks tomorrow. So, anyways, I'll be back. I just wanted to show you, it's 8.31 at night. Mally just got done. This is still hot. Making chocolate brownies. Homemade from scratch. She can't help herself. Delicious. Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from another day. I'm just sitting down to edit this video. I'm in Misha's room. Yeah. Anyways, um, what did I make? Oh, the chicken drumsticks. That's what the video is. I haven't sit down to look at it yet, but yeah. Anyways, um, we're getting good deals on chicken. We did then. I don't know what the price of it now. It goes up and down and up and down and up and down. Same with pork. We're lucky to get any beef except hamburger sometimes. Um, without, you know, breaking the bank, but I mean, we could, but it's just, I don't want to spend, uh, mountains of money on one supper. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But we get good deals where we can get good deals. So anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love ya. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.